Okay. I think the newest release of our quick base, which allows the 3DS to function as a controller for Citra. Albeit it's a little older. I still haven't gotten to test it yet, and I still wanted to do so, so here we go. There we go. No. I can actually connect to um, my 3DS. Like this. What you want to do when you um, plan to uh, use it really act like this is actually to go um, before you start the game, go to configure, go to controls, and here click the little checkbox that says use Arctic controller when connected to Arctic base server. If you don't do this, um, you can't do it. Otherwise, here we go. And there, uh, I have no idea, but um, the guy who compiles these versions um, missed to um, compile the new. Uh, Vulkan library, so I'm stuck to um, OpenGL, and OpenGL isn't that good on the Linux when using AMD cards, but it still works for um, the most part here. Not been better um, before. This is my highest score. I don't know what I did here, but um, yeah, that was my head. Bottom screen is necessary for this game, so
chip. Oh yeah. Look, I haven't even done the um challenges. How fast can you go? Let's um Come on, I. How fast do I have to be? And um, what will happen when I close the game is actually the following: pressing X, holding A, and select together. Oh. When I exit Arctic. Obviously, um, since the game is streamed from the um, 3DS, um, yes, the connection will get lost and I have to quit the game. These are all um, dubs from um, Deep DS, obviously, 3DS. But it's pretty cool, I really enjoy this. And yeah, it's just another neat gimmick feature. That is possible due to homebrew. Yes. All right. So much for that. <laughs> 